What's up guys, my name is Khan Samuels, I'm an independent filmmaker, and this is my journey to get my new web series Bad Cop, bought by Netflix or Hulu. Now, there was a moment where I almost gave up on this process to begin with. It was a few months ago where I just finished writing my web series and I wanted to start pre-production. I knew I needed about four things, money, cast, crew, and location. I started with a videographer. Now, as much as I wanted to do everything, I was already directing and acting, and if I had to film that at the same time, it probably wouldn't be pretty practical. All right, everybody places, and action. Cut. Oh my god, that was perfect. <laughs> Guys, that was amazing. I really hope we got that. Started with Facebook. I went to some of the local filmmaking groups to hit up a few filmmakers. And after a few days, I managed to find a filmmaker in my budget and somebody that I really liked. Afterwards, I had to put together a budget. Now, my biggest cost was going to be location. Finding an affordable location here in NYC proved to be pretty difficult. But with insanely good luck, we had a friend of ours who actually owns a law firm. And he offered to let us film there for free, which made it so much easier to collect money from friends and family, knowing that my biggest cost was already taken. This is part two and how I almost gave up filming my web series Bad Cop. We left off where I just hired a videographer and found a location. Now it's up to me to put together a budget. I never worked within a budget before, but I knew if I wanted to up my production, I needed to have some moolah. Now there were a couple different ways I could have gone about this, but I ended up just asking friends and family. And although this is one of the more anxiety ridden parts about being a filmmaker, it's just one of those things you need to know if you want to be successful. Luckily, I kept my costs reasonably low, which made it easy for people to feed into my dream on a discount. Now the last thing I had to do was hire an actor. So I went to the backstage, which is not just a great place for actors, but it's also a great place to cast. And only after a few different candidates, I actually managed to find somebody I really liked. And then a month later, we we're on to filming. Now, this is where things start to take a turn. The day after we filmed the first half of the first episode, I get a text from my lead actor with some news that would ultimately change the trajectory of this entire process. And if you'd like to find out what that is, follow me for part three. Back to Park Brina, I almost gave up making my web series Bad Cop. We left off where the day after our first day of filming, I got a text from my lead actor with some big news. Here's what he says. Unfortunately, he's got to drop out of the project. This is not just a gut punch because now we have to hire a new lead actor, but because everything that we had filmed until then, we had to throw out the window. This is pretty much foreshadowing what was to come. Let me give you a brief synopsis on all the events that occurred over the next few months. So it takes us about a month to hire a new lead actor. During that time though, I got to look over the script and actually improve it. So that was the only positive thing that happened. But right after we hire a new lead actor, our videographer drops out. So we hire a second videographer, he drops out. So we're on a third videographer and our second lead actor. Then one of our other actors drops out, so I have to hire another actor. But it gets better from there, because a week before we're about to film, my lead actor tells me that he can't shoot for the next few months, which means we have to push off the entire process by another month. At that moment, that really almost broke me. I mean, that was the lowest moment throughout the entire shooting, and I almost gave up. And if you'd like to find out what happens next, follow me for Welcome back to part four. I almost gave up making my web series Bad Cop. Let's recap. The day after our first day of filming, my lead actor drops out. We're on our third videographer, and now my new lead actor is telling me that he can't shoot for another month. So yeah, at this point, I almost lose it. Finally, filming day comes, and I'm setting up, and I get a text from my boom operator. Now, she is the last person that has stuck with me since our original shooting. Everybody else has been replaced. She texts me saying that she's got food poisoning and can't show up. At this point, I've already accepted it. I text my videographer, Leslie, and she tells me that she might have an idea. A few minutes later, she texts me back and says that her boyfriend's available, we could shoot. Leslie says, the day. She's amazing. So we end up shooting. By the end of it, I honestly can't believe that I actually managed to make it happen. Here's the crazy lesson that I learned. All the challenges that I had to deal with actually ended up being the best for the web series. It helped me realize that I really needed to work on the script. And with all that extra time to prepare, it really actually helped me realize that I needed it. So at the end of the day, all the negative stuff that you might think actually is hindering you might be the best thing for your film. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more content.